guys, I'm Jess. Today I'm going to show you how I achieved this dark lip and dramatic eye. Um, so if you wanted to see how it was done, keep watching. Okay, the next step is to use my MAC Pro palette from, well, it's MAC Pro. It comes from Paris. I bought it on Camera Ready Cosmetics. Just going to use a small concealer brush to apply this. So I'm using the dark brown colour the bottom uh, and I'm going to use this as a as a contour it's quite pigmented the product and then you can sort of buff the excess out of the brush and just blend it and then sort of blend this one up so that the dark the darkest color is along the contour and then it blends up and then I usually just come in with my foundation brush and buff it out a bit just so that it's a little more natural. Okay, so next I'm going to do my eyebrows. Lately I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hill uh, Beauty Express for brows and eyes in brunette. Um, this is the one that comes with all of the stencils and everything. It's upside down. Um, which I haven't really used because I'm quite happy with the shape of my brows um, naturally but I would totally recommend it for other people that are a little bit confused or unhappy with the shape of their brows it can be a great tool for sort of uh, figuring out the direction or thickness that you sort of need I usually apply a little bit of the gel that's in the kit just to give some uh, sort of control over the hairs. I don't have really unruly hairs but if you're going for that really groomed brow look it's good to be able to just make sure they stay in the direction that you want them to. So that's just with a bit of uh, the brow gel. And then I usually take the darkest colour from the shadows and I apply the darkest colour on the edge of the eyebrow or the tail first like this and then I blend blend it back through um, I apply the dark also along the bottom here but we're not talking a lot it's literally just a tap on the shadow and then that's it not we're not building a huge amount of color and then I usually take the lighter brown and blend it through the front section like this so that's my brows done so to be begin the eyes we're going to um, use soft ochre from MAC the paint pot and I'm just going to put that over my lids um, to use as a primer Some people are lucky enough to not have to use a primer at all, but I find that my makeup does crease a lot, especially having deep set eyes. Um, other people who have hooded eyes and things would experience something similar. And if your eyes are a bit oily, you might find that as well. So I'm just going to use a light white color from my Natural Born Cosmetics. So I got all of these colors. I'm just going to use the light white colour just as a bit of a base. I'll just buff that over my eye with a fluffy brush from Zoeva. This is a 228. It's a great brush. And 
And then next, I'm going to take some shadows from MAC. I have Mulch and Woodwinked. So just two browns. We're trying to keep it quite soft um, because the lip is going to be so heavy. So I'm just taking the darker shade Mulch and I'm just going to take that on just a flat shader brush. This one's from Ben Nye. I got it in my Grand Lumiere set. Bright colours. So I'm just going to take it on the outer edge and up into my crease in a V. And then I'm going to use a bit of Wedge by MAC um, just to blend that. It often helps to blend colours if you or blend shadows if you use another colour to blend it out into. So we're just going to do that technique of blending out and then applying some more back and forth in the crease so I'm just applying some more of the mulch blending that out again add a bit more uh, wedge if you need So that's looking good so far and then we're going to bring in, bring in a bit of the woodwind and we're just going to apply that with the other side of the same flat brush or you can bring in a new clean one if you like. Um, we're just going to apply that sort of from where the from where the mulch begins to sort of halfway across the eye and this is just going to be a transitional colour really. Just make it blend seamlessly. So yeah across there. Make sure to tap your brush off. Sometimes I forget and then I get a little speck on my face, like now. So yeah, just across there and then we're just going to blend it out again. Usually we like to um, deposit the dark, the most amount of colour on the outer edge and then sort of bring it in. That's the most sort of flattering application to most people's eyes. And then buff it out. That's what we have so far. I'm just going to bring a little bit of this medium sort of warm brown shade into the crease just to add a little bit of definition. You don't have to do this if you're already happy with it. It's a little bit more natural as it already is. Well, not natural, but soft. Okay, so then we're going to bring some of the mulch underneath the eye. like that and then you can use your sort of wedge wedge on a little brush and just blend that a bit so it looks a little more seamless so next I'm just going to use a bit of my Teddy eye coal from Mac it's just a brown soft brown pencil uh, with a little bit of sort of gold sparkles I'd say um, make sure you Sharpen your pencil first because you'll get a better, more defined line. And we're just going to add a bit of definition along the lash line. So, not too neat because we're just going to blend it out, really. Like that. And then just take a little bit of the mulch on your flat shader brush and just buff that along the line. Sort of make it more seamless. Like that. 
We're taking a little bit of Half Baked mixed with Sin from our Naked palette. Half Baked and Sin. Oh, where are we? This one. And I'm just going to mix them together on a soft, fluffy brush. And deposit that on the inner third of the eye, just to open the eye. Adds a bit of glamour. Like that. You can also put that on the lower lash line as well if you like. Just take a shader brush. Just along there. And if you want you can just use a bit of virgin right in the inner corner but blend it out. We don't want it to be too white because that can be a bit stark. And we wanted to draw too much attention, but just freshen it up a little. So that's what we've got so far. I'm going to curl my lashes and then apply a little mascara to get ready for our false lashes. So just hold it against your lash and then squeeze. And the other side. This is my Glam Eyes Day to Night mascara from Rimmel. I'm really liking this mascara at the moment. I use the volume one for my top lashes and then I use the lengthening one for my bottom lashes. Um, not to do with volume and length but I find the volume mascara puts a lot of product on and the lengthening mascara not so much. I also find if I get a few clumps I um, will use the lengthening one just to sort of uh, redistribute my lashes into like more of a fanned appearance rather than like three big you know globular lashes so it's a very horrible day in Melbourne I can hear the wind whistling outside but I'm looking forward to summer so that's my top lashes and I'll just leave my bottom lashes till later because if I open my eyes too far it'll all end up on the top of my eyelids. So while we're doing that we might just move on to our skin. Uh, I'm just going to clean up under my eyes where I might have any fallout just buff it away with my uh, buffing brush that already has a bit of product on there. And then I'm going to take a bit of my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in medium dark just to set everything. I'm just going to use a just a generic buffing brush and buff that onto my skin. You can also take, I usually do this first, just a soft fluffy brush and use a bit under the eyes, especially if you get creasing like me. And you'll also find if you don't set under your eyes that your concealer will mix with your bottom lash mascara. If you wear it, not everyone wears it, um, but it will mix with it and it will then run down your face. So try to avoid that. Yeah, and then just buff some into the rest of the face. So that should be fine. Next I'm going to take a little bit of my sleek contour kit. This I've actually used so much that I've hit the pan on both sides, but I think I bought this like at least six months ago. So it's t I, I use it all the time and it's so pigmented that you don't need a lot. Uh, I'm just going to use a angle blush brush from Smashbox. So yeah, you don't need a lot of that. And I just sort of add a bit of colour. And a little bit sort of in the top of my hair up here. If you do have blonde hair, just be careful um, when putting colour near your hairline. Yeah, so today I'm using my blush palette. I'm going to use sort of one of these natural, this natural colour here. Um, you have to be really careful because it's so pigmented. I'll put the link down below as to where I got this blush palette. It's so cheap. Um, but it adds a lot of colour really easily. So 
so you have to be careful. Always tap it off. Like that. I'm just tapping it off on my desk. So I always try to deposit most of the colour about here, there, and blend it up. Try not to bring it too close in. Make sure you do a lot of blending so that you can see the colour, but it doesn't look like a round dot. And if it's a really natural colour blush like this, you can bring a bit into your head, your forehead, just to blend the colour like that. I'm just going to fuse a little bit of my Kiko Milano highlighter. I got this when I was, when I was in Rome last year. Um, and I love it. It was so cheap. I think it was like €7. Euro, which I'm not sure what the exchange rate is at the moment. But I think that's like, I don't know, 11 Aussie dollars. So next I'm just going to apply my lashes. I'm just using these ones from Gypsy Lash. I got these off... Madame Madeline. Um, I wore these the other day, but since I'm not going anywhere this afternoon, I'm just going to put them on. Like that. So then you just let your lashes dry a little bit. While we're letting our lashes dry, I'm just going to start with my lip. So today, I'm using Night Moth from MAC, um, Night Moth Lip Pencil, and so it's a dark purple. I usually will start with the outer corners and work my way in. Like that. And as I've done here, I just start filling in the lip. And then today I am using my Pure Matte Lipstick from NARS in Valparaiso. I think that's how you pronounce it, but if not, you can always look it up. And so it's sort of like a berry shade. It's a little bit lighter than my lips, um, but I think that sort of goes well together because the lip liner is a little bit dark. And then I just put it on directly. I find that because it's matte and it's quite stiff, it goes on a lot better from the tube. Like that. And although it is matte, it does seem to have some sort of reflective particles in the lipstick, so it adds a little bit of sheen. Going to add a bit of bottom lash mascara. As I said before, I used the lengthening one because it sort of, I think it's the same size brush, it just puts less product on it and then and then you can also add a little bit just to blend the top lashes with the bottom lashes and then I'm just going to use a little bit of eyeliner over the top of my lashes in black just to uh, sort of blend it in um, I'm going to take Black Tracks what is it, MAC Fluid Lining Black Track um, got my LY, Louise Young LY, LY24B, which is like that, the really fine one. Well, I think it's the really fine one. It's very fine. I love this brush. It's expensive, but it's worth the money. Um, I did buy it online, so you can get it in Australia, but I think that the shipping was quite expensive. Um, so if you have any friends that are looking to buy one as well, then you could go halves or share. Anyway, so I'm just going to put a little along my lash line. You can move it a little bit hard with your lashes on, but... Hey guys, that's it for today. So if you like the look, um, leave me a thumbs up below. Uh, leave me a comment so that I can chat with you guys. And subscribe if you want to see more looks like this. Thanks. Bye.